In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely disassemble and then reassemble a Canon A4000. Before you get started though, be sure to download and print out the screw layout guide that I made for you. It'll help you keep track of the screws as you remove them from the camera. There's a download link for this diagram in the description of this video. To get started, we're going to remove six screws. Two on this end, two on this end, one right here, and another one underneath this cover, and then two on the bottom. I'll show you how to use this screw layout guide with this first screw. Just take the screw and stand it on its head from the location that you just took it from. Put it right on the yellow screw that's on the diagram. The double-sided tape, it'll keep it secure while you're working. With all six screws out, we can go ahead and remove the front cover now. To remove it, separate it on the bottom near the tripod screw. Just pull it out and then keep lifting on it, kind of like a hinge. Just pull it up till you get about that far and then the top should come out. And you can see that there are two tabs that were holding it in on the top. To remove the back piece, we need to separate them down on this end. Just pull the inside out just a little bit and hold your finger on it to keep pressure on it. Then we're going to have to come down here and lift right on the edge here with our finger. That's because there's a catch down inside. So just lift up on it. You'll hear it kind of pop. And then you can tip that inside piece out. And once you do, just tip it out about like that and then pick straight up on it. That's because there's a couple of plastic pieces down here that are interlocked with it. The next part that we're going to take off is this top plastic piece here. Now it holds the speaker and the microphone and we're going to have to remove those first. All you have to do is take a screwdriver, put it underneath the speaker and then lift up and it should come right out. Same thing with the microphone. You can see that there's a little post going up through this rubber housing. So just lift it up off of that post. Just like that. Now to remove the plastic piece, there's two catches. One right here. And another one on this side right there. So just lift up on those with a screwdriver. Doesn't take much. And you can see it, it'll come right off. Now there's just, there's a small plastic piece down on this end, right there, that's holding it on. So when you pick it up, just slide it over, it'll come right off. Now we'll go ahead and remove this flat ribbon cable system. It runs across the top and then down through here. Now it's, there's a connection point right there that we'll have to disconnect first. Just use a little screwdriver and flip this little lever up. Then you can pull the cable out. Now we can go ahead and we'll lift this entire piece off. Start out by putting a small screwdriver underneath this piece of flat ribbon cable because you can see it's going through this little post right here. Just pick up on it and it'll come off. Then we'll go down on this end 
and do the same thing. Slide the screwdriver underneath and lift up on it. Now when you get down to this last one right here, just go ahead and stop there because we're going to take this piece off first. Do the same thing, just put a screwdriver underneath and lift. Now there might be a little bit of sticky glue right down on this end that helps hold it down so you might have to lift on it a little bit harder down there. Once you have it up there you should be able to just fold it back. Then you can go ahead and you can pick up on the, the back side, this last part right here. And the whole thing will fold back out of the way. The next piece that we're going to take off is this metal frame piece right here. Now there's five screws that hold it down. One here, here, right there, and then two on top. With the five screws removed, we can just lift this piece off of here now. Now we'll go ahead and we'll lift up on the LCD display. There's, there's a piece of sticky tape right underneath it on this end, so we'll need to put a screwdriver right there and then lift, and it, it should pull it right up then. Then just fold it back. And now we'll have access to the flat ribbon cable connection. Just lift up on this black bar and that'll release that cable. Before we do any more work, let's go ahead and remove this flat ribbon cable right here just so that we don't damage it. All we have to do is lift up on this brown bar on this flat ribbon connector right here. Just pick up on it, and then you can pull it right out. The next part that we're going to remove is this flash unit right here. Now there's only one screw holding it on, and that's this one right here. With that screw out, you can just lift that piece right off of there. We'll remove this metal plate now. There's four screws holding it on. Two right here, one here, and then one here. Now we can go ahead and just lift that metal plate right off of there. What we have left is the main circuit board and the battery compartment and the lens unit. The only thing holding them together are these two flat ribbon cables. We just need to lift up on these brown bars on each one to disconnect it. There's only one screw holding the circuit board down, and that's right here. Just lift up on it to separate it. So that's all the pieces. So now we can go ahead and start putting it back together.
When you're putting the top plastic piece back on, put this end on first. You can see it's got this little hook right here, and that'll go around this uh, plate down here. So put it on first. Then you can push it down and it'll snap into place. You'll see these two little catches right here pop into place. Then we can go ahead and just put the speaker back in and then tuck the wires inside around these little pins that are sticking up and that will hold them down. And then you can put the microphone back on. Now we can go ahead and put the back cover back on. Now we want to do it the same way that we did when we took it apart. We want to put this end in first into this part of the cover, down on this end. That's because you can see this piece right here that's got a hole in it, this long hole. That's got to line up with this pin right here. So just get them close. And when you can see that that pin is going inside that groove, then you can push the other end together. And you'll know it's right when you can look inside the hole and you can see the threaded part for the screw. Now we can go ahead and put the front cover on. We just need to do it the same way that we took it off. At an angle. Put this top part in first. These little tabs We'll go in first. And once they are, just set it down into place. And all we need to do now is put the screws back in. And that's all there is to it.